Hi guys, thanks for coming back. We are talking about, not playing about, Horrified American Monsters, which is uh, an expansion, or not expansion, uh, sequel. sequel to the Horrified game, which we played many moons ago in a different set, actually. So, ooh, we're visiting back. Well, initial thoughts over this game. We can get into some nitty gritties. Why are there not aliens? Why are there not aliens? I was wondering why there's not like spooky ghost witches because witch yeah. dolls are a big part of America. Is she a witch though? Like she's a banshee. Banshee. No, Salem. Like yeah. uh, Sarah. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. Stuff, but they should yeah. have stuff like that. I think that yeah. uh, Blair Witch or Salem Witch Trials, something witchy yeah. would have been great. Hundred percent American. Aliens are also yes. Why are there no aliens? Yeah, I mean, it's on the back of the card. That's what made me think of it. Yeah. I wasn't even going to say anything, and then I saw the UFO. I'm like, why are there not aliens? That absolutely should have been. I think that Banshee could have been left beside. Banshee of the Badlands. Not a lot of people know about that, unless you're from the Badlands. But Chupacabra's not America, America, so he could have... It's not North American. It's it says American. American. Yeah, so he could stay where he, where he comes from. Uh, America oh. America is, is like this this greater... like America's. America's, America's yeah. yeah. But it's home of the grave. It's very clear that the United States of America monsters. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, with the Okay. Yeah. I'm going to let it slide. You know, basically, Mexico was much bigger <laughs> before we took it from them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty big. That was a long time ago. Yeah. I've never yeah. heard of the Ozark Howler. I've never heard of the Ozark Howler. Nope. Um, or uh, the Banshee of the Badlands. But I feel like the Jersey Devil is also maybe pretty uh, obscure. I've heard of the Jersey Devil, even like beyond your normal fascination with it for some right. reason. It showed up in uh, what we do in the shadows. Oh, really? I haven't yeah. watched all yeah. of oh, yeah, the yeah, shadows. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's like two scenes. Yeah, yeah. But he shows up. Yeah. Great. I mean, it's like, oh, it's like I did Mike likes, you know. Like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's your fascination with the Jersey Devil? I don't know. Uh, there were video games way, way, way back when um, that my parents never let me play, and the only time I got to play them were on those demo discs that Sony would send out uh, for PlayStation. And then they would delete all your memory. And then they delete all your memory. Yeah, been there. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Sorry, Dot Hack. Never playing you again. And yeah, I don't know. I just I've always. Just have been called to it. I just think he's neat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think he's neat. That's all you need. That's yeah. all you need. That's okay. I like him. That's all you need. That being said, can we just talk about the Jersey Devil, even though he wasn't in our playthrough, and, and how we feel about him in this game? Yeah, so his playthrough mechanic is you have to discover which one of the citizens is the 13th child, which I'm assuming has something to do with Jersey Devil lore. No I don't... clue. Okay. Yeah. And all he's right. a guy. And, and he's... I'm a guy. I don't know anything about it. I just think it's neat. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, you have to, like, discover who the 13th child is based off of, like, pictures in their card. Do we have, like, a card? Did you put that deck away already? Yeah. Oh, it's oh, here. Oh, it's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. sure. So it's like you will, like, flip over a card and, like, base over the people that are in the card. Yeah, people, not that. I yeah. Know. Uh, it's like, oh, like, People that have clocks in their cards, so you have to go through all of them and like mm -hmm. find the ones that have the clocks in the card, and then you have to like reveal however many clues. I think it's like seven or something like that. Right. It's a bunch. So um, no, there's three clues. Oh, three clues. Three oh. clues, but there's seven in total because it the person changes every time. There's no designated Jersey Devil. All of the clues, in theory, if you have just three of them and they indicate something on their card, you should be able to make a decision. There's no rubric or uh, key to say, like, this three combinations equals this person. Yeah. This three combinations equals this person. You just have to kind of say, like... You have to be a detective. You have to be... I guess it's them? An investigator. But there are several combinations... Damn, man, I was just a scientist. Well, good thing the Jersey Devil isn't here. <laughs> That's what my rubric says. <laughs> <laughs> There's several combinations that can indicate several of the townspeople. So they ha they did come out with an addendum, an extra rules, like if this is the case, if your three indicate three more than one uh, other citizen, Suspect. Pull, per pull another per investigator. Per clue investigator. token, and that should help you make your decision. Right. I, the easy way to fix that is... Play does more. Play test more and just have a key of like these three combinations equal this citizen. I mean, I think this there's combination only, like, equals one this citizen. 
very specific situation that would like lead to that. That Still, we got. I mean, it also needs more proofreading because again, move the all violins. It could yes. have used another go over to as a whole. They did it right before they came in. They're like, oh crap. Uh, <laughs> violins <laughs> move. The violins. <laughs> all, of them. The, all, yeah, yeah. all of the violins. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I still think it's neat that they had the clues and that you had to actually be an investigator to, like, determine it. It's a cool That's concept. Awesome. It's a cool concept. It's great. It is, in fact, awesome, but it was not fully fleshed out. It could have been better. could have been better. But still, it was unique. Or maybe, like, Clue had that crap figured out right away. We just have all the clues and cards and, like, by process of elimination, sure, but stick them into a little packet. Like, this is who they are. So it's definitive, and still, like, it just felt like there was guesswork. There's no definitive answer that you can check that you can know for sure. Sometimes investigating is a guesswork. That's real bad. That's bad investigating. Yeah, it is. If you're guessing to, to solve the crime, you didn't solve the crime. Look, crap, he hangs on there. Yeah. Look at his big arms. Oh! Oh, he's King Kong. Yeah. yeah he's King Kong. Uh, how do you feel about Bigfoot? Uh... He was a jerk. I think, like, if we didn't have four dudes running around, and Mike didn't die 12 times right off rip... Once. And I'm blaming you. Stating facts. <laughs> Two people died. One was me. The other was you. Uh, Tom's people got murdered, too. Oh, But you yeah, did yeah. die, like, instant. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, very first. So, yeah, very well, that was the bad That's what I'm saying. She's aggressive, so she had to be taken out. And yeah. he first. got to run around going ooga booga booga, which was his issue. Like, I think if we had time mm -hmm. to sit on him, it would have been a joke. Which is sure. the thing. Like, Bigfoot is actually quite easy. He doesn't attack people. He's just afraid of people, and he runs away. But because he's there, people see him and they get scared, which increases the terror track, which is how you lose the game. If it reaches the skull, you've lost. Which is what I've been doing. Which is what happened to And we us. were playing with four bouncers, which is technically the most difficult, even though we did not have the Jersey Devil and Mothman, mm -hmm. which Jersey Devil has the highest complexity, Mothman somewhere in the middle. Right. I don't remember what he did. He just looked at you and ran at you. Uh, he ran really fast. Yeah. That's yeah. all I, I remember. Yeah. Which doesn't sound anything like actual Mothman things. So. I don't know. Right. He didn't even go to They just show up to they terrible events. Yeah, they show up to like... Like the bad omens. Yes. Right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Neat. Like you see him before stuff goes down. Right. Yeah. But yeah, we had to trap him with bear traps. So I guess that's how you trap a Mothman. Yeah, because flying men, bear <laughs> traps. That's fact. As a crypto zoologist, you would know that. You were using bear trap to kill the chupacabra. That's, well, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, I mean, look at you there, dude. You have like some beep boops. You're like beep boop, beep boop, yeah. beep beep beep. Yeah. Half-ass Ghostbuster. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, you're a guy. I'm just a guy mm -hmm. with you're long big. arms. Uh, I do think that they, sports ball. they address the monster mat, however. It is small. It, it is, is small. small. I appreciate it. Yes. It is. We're going better. in the right direction. We're going in the right direction. Something I would have liked a little more. Why are all the tabs the same? That defeats the purpose of tabs. Yes. Oh, like, you're so right. It's like, what if, what if it's like that? And you go, oh, I can pick these two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if the tabs were point. a little like off center. Tabs, or? you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. It's so you can just, just, just see just where they are. You know, it's nothing, <laughs> nothing serious. Not just, actually, yeah. <clears throat> I think... That's just supposed to be like, yeah. It's just better for storage at this point, I think. Yeah. Uh, who else reverse? Uh, the Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Yeah, Chupacabra. He, was, he was a normal. He's trying to suck some goats. Yeah. The Chupacabra, I think, is a really fun addition. Um, How do you feel about hitting six goats to the farm? The fact that they all take an action is bull. If you could unload all your goats at once, if you can pick up. Multiple goes at once, you can unload go. Multiple yeah, why you gotta, once. come on, you go every like, single one. They're, they're, they're stall thing. You, well, you, they are a little, like, hard to corral. Like, you gotta be like, okay, now you. Okay, now sure, you. No, no one here was a shepherd. If you were a shepherd and it said, unload all goats at once, that's a good card. That's a good you, card. Yeah. Very specific to the monster. But hey, very specific. Yeah. Uh, these were all assigned by random as per what the rules were. Uh, we will not make a tier list like we did last time. Did we? We did. We did. We did. We Yeah, we said the mayor in her wheelchair was <laughs> bad. Yeah. Because yeah. she had five action, actions. But, yeah. And this time it's a reporter that has five actions? No wheelchair lady. No, <coughs> it was a wheelchair citizen. Citizen. Yeah. Uh, that's He got got instantly. Jimmy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, Jimmy! He just spawned and then instantly died. Poor yeah, the howler was actually, after the banshee, the howler was the biggest problem. Because yeah, he just moved and murdered people. Because yeah. he was just running around. Well, he sat there for half people. the game. And then he just ran around murdering everybody. He yeah. got mad. We <laughs> don't know what his. Uh, Am I saying the rule book? Uh, 
Uh, I kept asking and we never checked. Um, I was not in rule book, man. Probably because I did not want to. Uh, the handle say anything here? It could have entirely <clears> changed the game. For every death omen token an investigator has, they take an automatic hit when a monster rolls to attack them. Oh. Oh. I mean, I don't think that really came into play until... It did. ...much later. But it would have affected things. Uh, when you die, they drop off, and you could still block it with items, but they are indeed automatic hits. Hmm. Mm -hmm. so and they're rolling on top of it? Yes. Yeah. So that's pretty gross. Yeah, that's actually uh, really difficult. I'm glad we didn't... I mean, we lost anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. We just would have lost sooner. It's true. Anything else to say? Which, what's something that you uh, uh, dislike about this game, Mike? Well, I think I, uh, I, it has all the same things as the last Horrified, but I think they kind of addressed them. Uh, the last Horrified, I thought it had all the great pieces of all my favorite games. You know, a, a pandemic-style system, really cooperative great theming it just felt a little it just felt like it was missing something with this one there's definitely been some more complexity added with fighting the monsters mm -hmm. it is certainly there and i think they're addressing it i f i don't know if i'm butthurt because i lost or <laughs> if they missed the mark i think they might have missed the mark on um on how to add the complexity or Maybe they hit it with some monsters and missed with others. Uh, ergo, the Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil. But I, I mean, I liked it. I certainly had fun. I certainly had fun hanging out with you guys playing the game. Oh, yeah, that's so sweet. That's nice. Larry, what's uh, something that you is there uh, anything that you want to say that you really like? That I really like Jersey Devil is what I really like. Even though it is objectively like way too complicated and not good, I love it. it Thank also, you. It Give also, me more, please. It also takes out half the deck, so it cuts the game in half when you play the Jersey Devil because you take out all the citizen cards oh. and they don't get shuffled back in, so oh. it makes the deck half as small. Yeah. So if you really want to up the complexity, Jersey Devil plus others plus others. Yeah. Yeah. What you got, Sailor? Uh, there's no adding to Stella. That's, mm. my, that's my downside. They did not make a return. Sadly. That is actually a pretty big downfall. Yes. Like they they've made many appearances across many horror films. They should be here. Yeah, they've fought a lot of men. Yeah, well, a lot of spooky guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that and that the proofread, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I would say one of the things that I think they improved on is uh, some of the characters. They adjusted their actions based on the power that they're assigned. So the lady that can just teleport to any square ever only has three actions now instead of four. So they actually balance some of the characters around the actions they have. Oh. We just never got them in any of the times that we played them because it was random and that's mm -hmm. just how it goes. That's interesting. So I think adjusting people's actions based off of their special power is a neat concept. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. You think you can combine boards and play both at once? Well, well you, you just have to figure out the how to, connector points. Yeah. You know? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Can a monster go over to here? But yeah, I mean, if you can go over there, why can't a monster yeah. go over there? Because like, I would want to fight the Mothman and you know, the creature from the Black Lagoon at the same time. That'd be pretty neat. Would you combine both the monster decks? I think you would have I to. I think you would draw from which board you're on. Oh. I think that, that would be a good... Choose, or goes, alternates? There, there's no, ways. There's I think ways being on which board you're on, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, Might have to try the suit. Yeah. Maybe just like Come back next time like... when we're building our own game out of other people's games. Yeah, I mean, eventually it'll play Greek, but right now we have two other ones. So. Yeah. Maybe we'll just have Greece in there, too, and you just go from this small American town to Greece. I don't even know who the monsters are in Greece. Uh, probably a Minotaur. It's That'd probably be... a Cerberus. Yeah. Probably a Medusa. Yeah. A Gorgon. Yeah, Medusa. A Gorgon. No, specifically Medusa. No, it it's... might specifically be, but it's not a Medusa. Okay, <laughs> but they're all Medusas. It'd be the Medusa. The three three all vampires are all three. manual rules. Medusa's one creature, Gorgon's another. We don't talk it, about Wizards of the Ghost. We don't. We're, we're leaving them behind. Uh, just like all vampires are Dracula? That's true. But all vampires are indeed Dracula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I'm an investigator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was lawyering. Uh, okay. Yeah. I buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good uh, stuff. Yeah. Great game. Buy it. Uh, if you want to buy it, 
you can go look in the link down below, and then you can click that link, and you can buy it from Amazon over there, and make sure that, you know, we make some money. That'd be great. Well, this guy's shilling it. Are you shilling it? I'm also shilling it. It's We're good. Shilling it. It's, 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 it's easy fun. to learn. It's great. It's, it's not bad. Not, it's not easy to learn. You already know how the game works, I guarantee it. If one person has a good concept of the monsters and the rules, anyone can sit down and be like, oh, I get it. Yeah, they have reference cards. They have reference cards. It's so easy. It's great. Well, great. That's all I got, man. Yep. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys came uh, watch us talk about this and have fun. Um, Kate, bye. No okay. aliens is actually a like, huge deal. Yeah, Roswell. Roswell. Yeah. Alien. Because 